Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be handling the most difficult topics when it comes to beauty retouching and skin retouching in general. And this issue is going to be about achieving or how you can easily achieve the best skin tones for your images when it comes to Photoshop. So, often times you may have retouched the image better or well, but we tend to have issues regarding achieving the best kind of skin color or skin tones or even skin tones for your kind of image. So I've gotten this image right in Photoshop and I've done a simple bit of retouching. You can see the before and after. But we're going to be focusing on achieving the best kind of skin tone regarding this very image. And I'll be using the simplest kind of technique to achieve those nice and better skin tones that are going to be looking even. So if I told you to analyze this kind of image, I'm just going to create this layer for demonstration. So if I told you how to analyze this kind of image, we have a number of tones in this image. So don't mind about this. Just want to demonstrate. So you can see that in this area, we have this kind of bright color on the forehead. Then we have some kind of oranges all over this place. Then around here, we have some little bit of magentas. Then in the neck area, we have some little bit of deep browns or dark browns and even the hand is having a different color so if i told you to analyze all these colors we just want to come up and achieve a very nice and better and uniform looking kind of skin tone in the best way possible so i just delete this so now to achieve this kind of uniform skin color or skin tones this is what we're going to be doing in this very video so we are simply going to come to this new empty layer icon and left click to create an empty layer and after doing that we're just going to come to the blend mode right here and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color and after changing it to color we just want to sample or pick a color on the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like so if at all we at look at this very image we can simply choose that color that is appealing or a color that was close to the subject is skin as you are taking the photo so in this case we're just going to come and get the brush tool so simply right click and get the brush tool and make sure it is a soft round brush then make sure the brush settings the mode is set to normal or pass in the flat hundred percent and after doing that we just want to sample or pick color from the skin area of our subject yeah we just want to sample or pick a color from the skin tone of the subject and that color should be close to what the skin was looking like when we were shooting the subject so i'm just going to come and i hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click on that color and you can see as soon as you hold down the option key on the keyboard and you left click it's going to sample that color which is going to be displaying under the color swatches right here so you can see i'm just going to sample that color so after i've chosen or sampled that color it is time for painting on the skin and before we go through the painting process we're just going to come and first of all turn off the empty layer and select the layers below and first of all create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard for mac then for windows is shift alternate control e to create a stamp visible layer and after creating that layer simply come to select and come to subject so photoshop is going to help us automatically select the subject the reason for this is because as you're selecting the subject or as you're painting on the subject layer especially on the edges we don't want the color to spill over to the edges that is why we have selected the subject so after selecting the subject we're going to come back to our empty layer and now come back and select the empty layer and after selecting the empty layer simply come so with the brush tool selected remember we sampled color from the skin you are simply going to come and start painting over the skin so just going to quickly paint over the skin and you can see however much i paint on the face edges the color is not spilling or going away from the area we are trying to paint so I'm just going to be painting just like that. And you can see what we have in this case. 
So just come to the ear area and also paint. So don't mind if at all you make a mistake in a given area because I'll show you how you can easily come back and refine that given area. So I'm just going to be painting. Avoid the eyes, the eyebrows and some parts of the hair. So just come and paint just like that. Paint on the chin. So you basically have to paint on each and every area that contains skin or has any skin displaying on the image. So for this step, sometimes it can be looking a little bit overdone. But don't mind about this because we are going to be correcting that later on in this very uh, video or in this very tutorial. So I'm just going to paint on the finger just like that. So you can see right now we have painted on most or majority of the areas. You can even zoom in to be precise with the painting process. And you can paint on every single area so here i'm just trying to rush through the process but i just hope you understand how this is uh, done basically so i've painted on all the areas that i feel should be having uh, this uniform color but it is a little bit or oh, we have done some mistakes so just come to the eraser tool and get the eraser make sure the mode is set to brush opacity and the flat hundred percent and with that done, you're just going to come and paint or erase the effect from the areas that we did not want to be affected by the color grading. So you can see this part of the hair has been affected. So I'm just going to erase or rub away these colors from even the eyebrows. So just paint quickly and you are going to be fine and good to go. So take your time as you're trying to do this. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to leave any traces of color spill. So just make sure you do that. So to paint on the color you, on the area you missed out, simply press B on the keyboard to activate the brush. And to get the eraser tool, the shortcut is going to be the E key. So after doing that, simply press Ctrl D. You can use Command D to deselect. And zoom in once again to identify or see what you have been able to paint but now this looks a little bit too much and looks unnatural so what we have to do we are simply going to come try you see opacity and take down the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that the color in the skin can look better natural and are realistic so just go with around 58 you can see the before after before after now that the skin has been uh, created uniformly and the colors are looking more professional and uniform, this is not all for this kind of process because sometimes we may sample a color and the skin may look a little bit oversaturated. So this is what we have to do in this case. If at all the skin tone is looking a little bit too yellowish or orange, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to come to the adjustments right here and simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Remember in skin tone, usually skin tones are having more reds and yellows. So we're going to come to where you see hue and saturation. Left click on the master option and simply select the reds. Come to where you see lightness and take down the lightness of the reds and that is going to affix or reduce on the intensity of the orange color or of the skin tone. So you can see by just doing this, you can see that we have been able to slightly mute or reduce on the intensity of that color within the skin tone. So if at all you want to add more contrast and slightly reduce the skin color even more, just create a black and white ad adjustment layer. Change its blend mode from normal to multiply and simply come the opacity. And you can simply drop down or reduce on the opacity to your liking. So i just mute that down a little bit, but that is going to darken the image. So just come to the brightness and contrast and slightly brighten up uh, the image. Or you can even use your levels. So this is what we have been able to achieve by simply using one adjustment layer for the color grading. And simply painting on the skin to achieve a better and more professional looking kind of skin tone. So let me show you a quick before and after for everything that we have been able to do regarding uh, this very topic. 
So I'm just going to group all the color grading, shift, and select this layer. Press Ctrl G to group this. So you can see the before and after for just the color grading. And now that the skin has been made to look better and more uniform. So this is how you can easily achieve professional and better looking skin tones and how you can easily even out skin tones for your images in Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this kind of video, simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.